Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are back playing Bush Space. I turned down the quality a notch, and it seems to be not quite enough. Let's turn it one more level down. Oh, this one, that's strange. In the main menu, you can only click on it to cycle through it, but on this screen you can actually- And there's a field of view option here! Why is this not like this on the menu? This is a completely different setting screen from on the menu. That's weird. Let's try medium. And let's turn up my field of view to what I'm more used to. There we go. 90. Uh... There. Oh, that's not what I wanted to hit. Well... <laughs> while, we're, while we're here, let's look at the, uh... Let's look at the settings so I can show you how different they are. Yeah, this is the graphic settings on the menu. Absolutely abysmal. So apparently once you get into the game, the graphic settings are much better. Which is very strange. Why would you have different setting screens? Yeah, anyway, as we left off in the previous episode, uh, this- this is telling us that it's usually only temporary about our removal of abilities. Cause it- it said that we would lose abilities sometimes, but it's only temporary. So, yeah. And that- that is- that frame rate, that is still pretty bad. Let's- you know what, let's just turn it all the way down. This- I mean, it's not like this game has the most amazing graphics you've ever seen. Let's see... Nope, that- that's just generally a laggy thing to look at. Apparently those portals are just laggy. Oh yes, this is much better. But yeah, if you look in that direction at all, the- the frame rate just tanks. Portal rendering is hard, man. Hmm... What exactly is going on here? Where do I even want to go? Wait, can I not? Hmm. Well, let's just try all the things. Oh, that's the one it already had. So let's reset it, and then try this one. Oh, goodness! Although I don't think I wanted that either, to be honest. Where am I meant to be going here? I don't... Am I supposed to go over there where that white light is? It's not exactly clear to me. Can I just not move- can I not just move this up? Okay. So I don't have to delete- yeah, okay, that makes sense. And obviously if I do this, it's just gonna go out of bounds, right? Uh... what? Right, I need to... Oh, yep, that reset it, because it went way out of bounds. <laughs> uh, oh wait, I need to... First of all, let me reset this guy. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Numbers. Yeah, sure, why not. And we want to move it in... Oh, I can actually move this out of the way. Look at that! I'm pushing it! Get out of here! Get off the screen! I don't need you. <laughs> Let's see, in Y direction. Ah, crap, that reset it. Well, let's try less than 90 this time, perhaps. Vectors. A long Y, please. And then... Numbers... Let's try 20. That's way more than I expected. Let's try 10. Uh... Maybe I should actually be on it first. <laughs> There we go. Now we can try 20. There we go. Guess we were supposed to go across it. So that was mainly to teach us that we don't have to delete the rotate object, we can just go to move object instead. We don't have to have a complete program. We can have unused bits. Oh, so apparently this is the right way to go. What was in this other direction? There's stairs over here, what is in this direction? Why are there two directions? Sometimes the cuboid you need might be a little tricky to get to. Man, what is going on with the sound effects? Oh crap! <laughs> and I cannot edit this, okay. 
So this was just two ways to go to the same place. Oh my- what the? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure I understand what happened here, but, uh... Somehow I got reset. Oh! Apparently going through this hole is not allowed. Except it is allowed! Because for some reason, it's allowed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I just borked the game by doing that. Let's, uh, let's see if I can reset myself. Nope. How about last portal? <laughs> yeah, I definitely borked the game doing whatever it is I just did. Let's try this again, and maybe not bork the game by messing around. <laughs> Why is the game still laggy sometimes, though? That's what I don't understand. It's got such simple graphics! How can you make a game like this lag so much? I can run Minecraft better than this. Right, I need to... There we go. Right, so. First of all, let's jump onto it. There we go. Long Y... And... 20. There we go. Let's sit over here, and maybe this time let's not go into this lower area, or what have you. Cause I can totally- I can totally fit through here, apparently. Especially that window. And it kept trying to reset me out of there, but... Apparently they didn't try hard enough. What do they want me to do here? I don't actually understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. add numbers, right? Do I have that ability yet? Logic, no. Abstraction, no. No. No, I don't think I have the ability to add numbers yet. Yeah, this sound effect is just... yeah. <laughs> hmm. Is there not a way for me to get this over to where I am? Because if I do 90, it just goes out of bounds. There's nothing- I don't have any option between 20 and 90, unfortunately. And I can't combine vectors yet, either, so I think that's a lost cause. I was gonna try and get it to come over here where I am. Right. And then this bounce pad is locked, right? Yeah. We need to turn down the sound or something. Wow, the game doesn't even pause when you hit escape. Excellent game design. Doesn't pause when you hit escape. Why are s- Oh, that's the music? Wow, these are not what I expected them to be. Let's keep this down at 25%. And maybe that at... Whatever. <laughs> there, that'll do for now. Nope, don't you- don't- don't! No... Don't you be a bad person. Okay then, why does it keep resetting me down there? What am I meant to do here? Oh, nope. Uh... Fine, I'll just- I forgot I could do my own thing. Right, let's see. Abstraction. Rotate object. Along... Uh... No. Along Z, actually. Ah, uh, along Z. There we go. And then... 90. There we go. 
Uh, that's not quite ideal, though. So, let's try a bit lower, then. Can I go in there? Yes, I can! Right, so now I need to move it. Oh no, I- oh yeah, I can move it. Okay. Move object. Can I do multiple move objects? That's something I wanna know. Apparently I can! Let's move this down here out of the way. Yeah, apparently you can just move object multiple times. That's- that's useful to figure out, right? At least I assume. Nope. Uh... Vectors along... Along X. Boy, if this were in the negative X direction, I would just be screwed. Numbers... Why does this keep moving further and further away from each other? Numbers... What? They do not add. Okay, apparently only one move object can be active at a time. That's something we learned. Numbers... Let's try 20. How am I still alive? I'll take it. Uh... Did I want to be in here? Um... Um. Okay then. Let's try moving it. Not sure where though. There. Now it's out of my way. I want to go in this direction. No, that looks like death. That looks very much like death to me. Did I want that? Um. Oh crap! Oh come on! Don't you respawn down here? I was supposed to stay on top of it. Come on! Apparently, it just crushed me. Maybe. Okay, apparently you can just travel through those and they don't kill you for some reason. Um... What am I meant to do here now? Cause that looks like a doorway up there that I was supposed to get to. I can't move it down. I don't have the option to do negative. Am I just screwed? Can I rotate it? Let's see here... I want to rotate it about the Z-axis. That's... not quite what I was hoping for. Um... Well, I guess it technically is progress. Let's bring this guy back. Uh... I need to move it in the Y direction. Yeah, duh. <laughs> How did I forget that? Let's see... Vectors... Along Y... What just happened to me? Holy crap, where am I? Okay, let's not do 20. <laughs> 20 is a bad idea. Let's just let's try 10. Okay, 10 works out much better for me. Um Crap. Now I have to do this all over again. Okay. 
I don't even know if that's gonna work the way I hope it will. Hmm... Seems kinda risky. Hoo <laughs> Ah. Uh... Let's try... Twenty. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna die any time I do anything like that. Man, holy crap, that was tedious. Why did that need to be so tedious? If I fell down there, I must have been missing something, but respawning didn't put me in a safe location to try again. Hmm. I can't apply multiple vectors to an object, that's just not- I already tried that, so... Do I need to go down here? Is this where I need to fall? Do I need to fall? Okay, apparently I was supposed to fall. Oh, look at this, I think this is where I fell into earlier. Yeah, this is where I broke the game and fell in here early. <laughs> Take that, speedrunners. <laughs> right, so. Seems like we just need to get across here, right? Oh my gosh! That is not what I thought that would do. I should probably check these. <laughs> I should definitely check these before doing that, stuff like that. Uh... No, that was... That was okay. Ah, uh, actually, no. Oh, this is the one that I... Wait, that's apply force. What? I wanna rotate. Uh... Oh, I can click and drag. Fancy that. Abstraction. Rotate object. About... Let's try about the z-axis. And... 90. Apparently that was the wrong axis. <laughs> what? That doesn't make sense. Is the axis... Is this not rotated the way I expected it to be? Huh. Uh, okay, let's try this way. There we go. Apparently that works. For some reason. Oh, but I also need to move it... Um... Need to move it. Oh, that's okay. I can just do it right here along the z axis. You know, so far I must say that this is not compelling gameplay. Ho 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 ho! That worked out way better than I expected. <laughs> okay. But yeah, this is, uh. So far, I'm not really enjoying it, because, like, the puzzles aren't ramping up, it's just having me do more of the same. Like, it introduced a bunch of concepts, and then it's not actually puzzling me with them at all. It's just having me go through very, very simple, more tutorials, even though I've already done more of the same. So, hopefully it picks up soon. Hopefully it doesn't turn out to be, f like, Fabric, like what happened to Nock. Nock can tell horror stories about what happened to him and Fabric. Okay, we touched namespace, apparently. What does this do? Stretch object. We can tell it's a number, huh? Can't do 90, huh? Oh, look at that. We certainly stretched that object. Can I stretch objects, too? No, I can't even do any of these things. Okay, then. Can I still do this? Yes, I can. I don't even know what the point of giving me one of these things is, because it's pretty obvious where I need to use it, but at the same time... Uh... No, I can't do anything, so there's no point. But at the same time, like, you... you like, I always need to use it to solve these... to get through here, but then at the same time... You, you... you make me choose where to place it, even though there's only a few valid places to actually place it. I don't know, this was kind of pointless. Can I do anything else in here? No, I cannot. Can I even make it across here, or...? 
Okay, this one, I can stretch. Hold on a sec, which- which dimension was this one in? This was a long Z, okay. Let's do a long Z as well. And... 20. That's not exactly any closer, to be honest. I think that makes things just harder. <laughs> okay, so... Let's get rid of that for now. Hmm... Can I make this jump? Apparently I can make that jump. I'm not a fan of having to do parkour in a puzzle game, to be honest. Okay, let's stretch along the Y direction, then. Alright. That only gets me so far, though. I can't do anything else, right? Yep, other things are not available to me. Guess I have to do this, maybe? Not quite. What if I do it higher? Apparently, doing it higher was the solution? I never know if I'm doing things as intended or not because of you've given me this ability to place stuff wherever I want. I really don't like that. I feel like it should not be in a puzzle game. Stretch and move. Okay. Where do we want to go? Up there? I'm guessing we want to go up there, perhaps. So. Let's try... Holy crap. Can I not get a good perspective on this? Let's try along the X direction here. Vectors. Along X. Numbers. 20. There we go. Now let's try stretching it in the Y direction. And then, I guess I can do this, right? There we go. Now there's no chance of me falling. What are these things? Decorative? I'm going to assume decorative. Alright. Assuming that namespace just gave us everything back that we've been using thus far. So far, the only time to remove stuff from us is for tutorials. Interesting. What do we got going on here? Uh, let's stretch it along the Z axis, perhaps. Can I. wait, what? Cannot do a long Y? Okay, apparently I can no longer do a long Y. That's just a thing that's happened now. Still can't do 90. There we go. Now let's move it along X. Oh, nope, wrong thing. Along X, thank you. I hate how they kinda like, move away from each other. It's weird. There we go. And again, I still can't do negative numbers. So... Oh, that's not what I wanted to hit. I guess they, they want me to do the same thing here with my guy? You're just making me copy-paste the same thing I already wrote? Thrilling. Right. Stretch object. Along the... by 20. Uh, good enough. Maybe. Yep! Yep, there we go. Anything in these side areas? Nope, just decorative. This is, uh... Oh my. Hmm. Can't really do anything in here, because it's locked. <laughs> I like how the screen gets left behind. 
Um... That did not get created where I expected it to get created. <laughs> oh my gosh! The axes are moving because I'm moving. Um... X. Okay, that's the direction. Okay, maybe if I'm careful... Oh! Oh! <laughs> This makes me so nervous, man. Can I make this jump? Oh, crap. Well... Oh, I can still get up here. Okay. 90. The one time you get to use 90, it's pre-placed. Right, well... Uh, first of all... Still can't do in the Y direction, right? Nope, come on. Yeah, can't do Y. So, I'm gonna need to get up there... first. For it to be of any use to me. Oh, come on. See, now I made the jump just fine. What was the deal the first time? Uh, hmm. How am I gonna do this? I wanna get up there, right? But we can't use a long Y? So... what do you want me to do instead? At least 90 is a pretty big number, right? Oh, I can rotate it. That's why it's 90. To clue you in. Don't think it matters too particularly much... which way we rotate it. Yeah, I knew that would happen. Well, at least I still got my code there, so that's nice. Okay, now... We can... Stretch object. And I'm gonna guess Z. And 20. Hey! That did a thing. Oh, come on! You're gonna put me all the way back down here? Come on. Come on. I didn't place it high enough. This is frustrating, cause like, it's a whole bunch of guess and check with the stupid platforming. This is not- this is not fun or engaging, this is just tedious. There we go. There we go, come on, let me up here- what the heck is blocking my jump there? I don't understand why sometimes I can jump just fine and other times I can't jump at all. Weird. Alright, well... We're at the end of this area, at the very least. And I think we're also at the end of the episode. Oh, we can't even... can't hardly see through this one. Oh, now we can. From a distance we can. Oh, cause probably cause I'm low in graphics. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Anything interesting to see up here? I wonder... Let's try... rotating this. You can only do 20, but... what happens when we do 20? Right, I need to pick a direction. <laughs> Not much. Well, let's try stretching it, then. Along Z. Hey, we have a ramp! Not a particularly useful ramp. 20 degrees is not much, but, uh, yeah, we have a ramp. <laughs> Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!